good afternoon to one and all today we are going to start with a new topic that is test driven development so uh, what actually we are doing in the test uh, test driven development is this is a approach where we are going to develop the code incremental way okay so in the sense, uh, if i will say that it is an incremental way in the sense if you have some code then again you are going to develop the next code so that is the meaning of your incremental code and each incremental uh, like module has to be tested before the uh, before it goes to the next increment okay so that's the reason the name has called like test driven development where we are going to uh, find it out many uh, modules and in incremental way so in each module has to be dependent on your next module and once the test and uh, everything will be done from my Uh, from the first one then we can go for the next in module so let me go to the next my slide next slide okay here you can see so whatever i told it is has been written in the same way the test driven development in, in another way you can call it as tdd so where it is an approach for the program development program development in the sense you have to write the code which can enhance your program and then what you are going to do you have to uh, interleave the testing and then you are going for the incremental development it means that once you have done with the first uh, module testing then only you can go for your next code development so if you have not done the testing from the previous one you cannot for go forward to the next one the next point says that the test are written before code and passing the test is crit the critical driver of the development so as i told you that it is in a incremental way so that time what will happen is when you are going to uh, give the like when you are going to send the code for the next or you are going to forward the code that time you are passing it right you are saying that my code already i have tested the first module and i am going to pass it as you are passing the code always from the next onwards so that's the reason this one will act as a driver of the development so you are driving the codes and you are passing the code from one module to the another module so in this way your code will incrementally it will pass from one place to another place and you cannot move okay you are not going to you cannot move to the next one once you have not finished the last uh, development code so always you have to finish the first one and then only we are going for the second one that's the reason this due to this test driven development method we have found one more new thing that is known as your agile methods and due to this agile methods we have uh, some extreme programming where we are going to utilize agile methods and we will have we are going to have the plan how we are going to drive towards your development process that's the reason this is known as your plan driven development process so this is nothing but this is about your test driven development so moving towards your next slide here you can see the diagram where we are going to identify some of the functionalities whatever we are going to utilize for our testing case so once you have identified your uh, functionalities then you are writing the test once you have written the test you are going for the run the test then here the uh, like uh, the question will come uh, is it running properly or it's not running properly if it is passed then it is fine then you can identify the new functionality and you can continue the process but suppose if it got failed then you have to implement the functionality you have to recreate the functionality once again and again you are going to send it back for your writing the test so this process continues in your tdd process and that's the reason it is known as your plan driven uh, process moving towards your next slide we have some process activities here so what are the process activities here first we have to identify the functionality that is a first case where you are going to identify the functionalities or entities how many entities how many functions we have been used for the first development case once you have identified that then if it is related to be a small or it is a big first you have to find it out like from the lines of code how you are going to test it suppose you have written one calculator program but in the calculator program you will have some four modules in the first module you will have the addition the second module you can have the subtraction third module you can have the multiplication fourth round you can go for your division so it is not necessary that once i have done with the calculator program i will go for the testing case it's not mandatory so first you have to write the functions only about your addition program 
once you have done with your addition program then you can check for the you can go for the testing of the code of your addition program once it is success then only you can go for your subtraction program so in that way you have to uh, like you have to increment you have to increase your code lines of the code and it cannot be small and then only you can go for the next round of the testing cases so you know, once you have done that is known as it will be automatically happening inside the tdd process and that's the re uh, reason it is known as the automated test okay so when it will go through the one by one module and it is going to check it out the functionalities and it is going to implement that kind of test is known as your automated test and when you are going for the running the test that time what will happen whatever you have implemented it means that suppose you have written sum equals to a plus b so in that case what will happen whatever you have written the program that uh, that things whatever you have implemented so it is going to be tested by taking the variables name so you are going to give now the digits so for the a you are going to give some value for b you are going to give the some value so whatever the answer you are going to get that will be the addition value so in this way you are going to implement in your running stage next once you have done with that if you are finding out some of the errors or bugs or if you are it is giving any fault error you can go for the rerun test otherwise you have to change the functionality and then you have to apply or you have to go for the rerun test once the test will be successful then you can move towards the uh, chunk of functionality functionalities the chunk of functionalities in the sense the merge of functionalities whatever is available in your calculator program so we have done with the first test that was your addition pro addition then next code you can write so your lines of code also will get increased and you can write the next code and then you can go for the subtraction checking so in that way we have to go for the chunk of functionalities whatever we have been used and we can go for next process properly so this is about the process activities of your ddt so moving towards the next one what all are the benefits we have for the test driven development okay so here the benefits we have some four benefits here and this is very important benefits also the first one you can go for the core coverage so what is happening in your core coverage coverage so each of the code segment whatever we are going to write so everything is associated with the test code okay so it means that whatever we are writing at least for one test it has been encoded or it has been written so we can cover all the codes whatever has been written so that is known as your segments so every code will have the segment by segment wise also you can have a check on that next to benefit is known as your regression testing what is happening in your regression testing the regression testing is nothing but where it will be uh, suit towards your development incrementally when you ever you are developed any program okay so once your program has been developed you can go for regression testing this regression testing is nothing but whenever it has to go for the incremental way and that also this procedure also will takes place in the agile process now it is many companies are following the agile process because in that way we can have the minimal of the resource persons and within that also uh, the cost effect it will be very cost effective because whenever we will check any of the programs and all we have to go in a like a incremental way so that is the reason we used to follow the regression testing what is the next one that is simplified debugging what is happening in your simplified debugging so suppose while testing the test cases got failed so what you are going to do then that time you can have the problems right so this is very obvious that you will have the problem because your test cases got failed so if you have to write the new code now so once you have modified with the code then again you can go for the debugging process so that is that is also a benefit is there because if suppose something happened or system got crash or it shows some behavioral uh, things so you can go for again debugging that will be not a problem inside your test driven development next one is your system documentation so what is happening in your system documentation here the test themselves are a form of your documentation okay which describe what the code should be doing how the code has to be written how the code is going to be documented so that is nothing like that you that is your system documentation for the system purpose we have to keep all the documentation properly we have to keep everything ready so that our test cases will give the proper idea so now moving towards your next next slide here we have that the detail about the regression testing 
So you remember the regression testing can come for your four marks of question separately, not included with your test driven development. The question can come like, what is your test driven development? And uh, with a need to diagram, explain the test driven development process. It can be of your six marks of question. Or else if I will add the benefits of test driven developments, it can come for your eight marks of question. So um, this regression of testing can come for you separately. And what is the meaning of your regression testing? Because in the Viva also you can get this kind of question. It is a very important part. So this is its testing where you are going to test on system. That is the first thing you are going to test on the system where you are going to check all the changes, whatever has been broken or previously already it has been worked out. So that kind of testing, you are going to do it inside your regression testing. But what is happening in your manual testing process? In your manual testing process, the regression testing is very expensive. Okay, so as it is very expensive, so we have to, with your automated testing, it will be very uh, simple and straightforward like your manual testing process. So all the test processes, whatever is there, we can rerun at uh, in every time to change the program. So it will give the, uh, like the test, test cases will be very successful and you can make the changes, whatever you have done. So here one line has been written that before the change is committed, commit means save, okay? So once it will, the test cases will run successfully, automatically whatever the changes you made in your program, that is going to be saved properly. So here it won't be having any problem because regression testing will be working on your system. And if any time it is breaking any of the working code, then by the help of your automated testing, it will be very simple and straightforward. And it is going to be work out uh, with all the module wise. And also it is going to read on the program if any fault error occurs. So this is all about your regression testing. So with this, your test driven development cover up. So you can have the eight or uh, um, six marks of question on that. Thank you.